Hello, my name is Emily Fonwell Oge of Leros Farm. So today, we're going to be discussing about overfeeding in catfish farm. Many farmers are having issue with overfeeding of their fish. You know, people have a lot of theories about overfeeding their fish. So today, let's talk about it and see a way forward out of this overfeeding problem. So if you are just joining us for the first time, this is Let Us Farm page. And what we do here is we try to provide practical solutions to our agri problem. These are things that we've tried in the farm and from other personal experiences or from other experiences that we've gotten. And we try to use it to also educate others on some challenges they may be having in their farm so that they don't have problems that we've seen before and succumb. All these services, we do it free. So don't worry. You are not going to pay anything. Now, if you are having questions about your farms or after watching this video, if you have any questions, any complaints, just please drop it in the comment section. I will do well to answer all your questions as you will explain it to you perfectly for you to understand. Now, if you're having challenges in your farm, all you need to do is just do a two to three minutes video and send it to 081-353-48909. Please whatsapp only we are having a ton of calls on the line so we'll have to restrict these things to whatsapp only that you do a whatsapp call or send whatsapp messages i will do well to answer you so please 0813534809 send your complaints with your videos to that and we're going to pick it up from there so, like I said, today we are going to be talking about overfeeding in catfish farms. It was actually because of um, uh, some farmers that are having problems about overfeeding. So, they've been asking me overfeeding. Over I said, okay, we're going to do something about it. So, I'll be right back to talk about this. <laughs> Yeah, welcome once again. Um, like I said, this is Letters Fan Page, and I remain yours, Emily Fangunel Obe. So, overfeeding. There are many theories to overfeeding in a catfish farm. Now, some people will tell you that if you stock juvenile or you stock fingerlings, don't overfeed them, we'll put more food for them. And some people say, by the time your fishes get to three months, four months, ah, you, if you overfeed them, they will die. There are theories. Theories. The problem about these theories is that nobody actually has a practical answer to why these things happen. But yet, people buy into these theories. And they just don't buy into the theories. They actually follow the theories, and this has led a lot of farmers to losing funds because of bad, poor results. Ignorance is never an excuse in law. So if you do something out of not knowing exactly whether you are right or wrong, and you lose money in the courts, you don't need to blame anybody because already you've lost the money and you won't get it back. Now, the question is, is there anything like overfeeding in your catfish farm? Take it from me. You can't overfeed your fishes. And I will explain this. And anyone that feels that I'm wrong can drop it in the comment section. And then I have a question. Anyone that believes that <coughs> I am wrong, let the person tell us how you know when you overfeed. A catfish. If you tell us how you know when you overfeed a catfish, and we'll do well to answer that. Right. So, what we are saying is overfeeding. Now, what happens is this 
most people believe that when you see the tummy of a fish swollen, it means that it's being overfed. But that's not correct. When you see a swollen tummy, it is because the digestive system of fish is very slow. Now, when they swallow, they take time to break down these into molecules and digest. That period you are seeing the bulging tummy, it is because it is full and it has to digest. You may notice that sometimes when you see the bulging tummy, you see the fishes, they will not stand inside water after feeding and moving up and down like this. What they are doing, they are just trying to exercise themselves. In the process of that exercising, the feed will be digesting. It is not overfeeding. Now, let me tell you why you can't overfeed a fish. You cannot open the mouth of a fish to put food. Therefore, if it doesn't enter the mouth, how can it get overfed? Now, some people will tell you that fishes don't have sense. They will keep eating. Quite a lie. If because of some certain reasons, the food you are giving them is so sweet that they lost count of their gauge and they keep eating, eating, eating. What will happen is that if they cannot digest it, they will vomit it. So, if they can't digest the food, they will vomit it. Now, what to even make them to vomit it is because you disturb them. If you don't disturb them, once they have eaten it, they will digest it. Only thing, it will take longer time to digest. Now, if you can, you can look out for snakes. You can watch snakes, videos of snakes, or if you've heard about snakes, you remember that when they swallow something, they go to somewhere and they have big stomach. They even don't move very well. They will now wait until they digest that thing. The stomach will come down before they will be able to attack anything. At the period they swallow something, they become very vulnerable. In fish, they also have a slow digestive system. So once they eat well, what you see them, they will go to one corner of the pond and be shaking their tails, just enjoying the feel because you have given them enough food. Now, if that time that they are relaxing themselves, that you've given them enough food, you now go to the pond and start touching the pond or pouring water on them, what you do is that you didn't allow that feed to digest, they vomit it. But then, you can't overfeed them. Now, there is this argument that when you overfeed your fishes, they keep dying. Let me explain why they die. It is not because you overfed them, but because you polluted their water. This happens especially when they are small. Now, when they are small inside water, so like I, I always tell people, go and watch. I have videos that have done about spot feeding. I always encourage people, use it. You are not doing it for me. You are doing it for your own self. So it's not as if probably there is anything. You are not doing it for me. It's for your own good. I encourage people, use spot feeding so that you will be able to understand how and when they are okay with the feed you are given. You are giving them. Anytime you are sprinkling feed everywhere, anyone's, any of those feed they don't eat, what happens is that they dissolve and they go down to the pond and contaminate the pond. By the time you did not change the water on time, that contaminated feed will now be toxic to them because the water in the pond is already toxic. And the toxicity of that water is what kills them, not the feed that they ate. These are two different things. Sometimes when something happens, there is always a reason behind anything that happens. But you may not know. You will think that, okay, eh, it's because uh, the, the stomach is big and it's not. It's not. 
It's just because of the error that we did or you did in feeding that resulted to that. So it is not advisable for any reason to contaminate your water. Once you do that, all these feed you are seeing now, you remember that the feeds are manufactured with different feed, food ingredients. You have oil inside, you have salt inside the food. So all these things, when they now get dissolved and they are inside the pond and the fish is now breathing the same water and then drinking the same water, if it is too much excess in the water, it now turns to contaminate the water and then bad for the health of the fishes and they will be dying. And then you will now think that, oh, probably it is because they are overfed. Why am I saying this? Many farmers use this idea of not overfeeding their fishes to underfeed their fishes. This is the problem. Once you underfeed, they won't grow well, they won't give you good weight, and your result during sales will be poor. The investment will be lost. The time will be wasted. You will be complaining. And it's a total error. So, conclusion. Is there anything like overfeeding? Answer is no. You can't overfeed your fish. Is there anything like overfeeding that makes fishes to die? The answer is no. What makes your fishes to die is contamination. How can I know? when i am overfeeding your fishes because you can't overfeed your fishes control the amount of wasted food you are pouring in your pond how can i know how to control it go and watch the videos i did on spot feeding use spot feeding to be able to control how your fishes eat once your fishes are eating and you are putting food they are eating the food there is no problem but if you are not seeing them coming up to eat, stop feeding. They are okay. So that you don't lose your feed, you don't lose your fish, and you don't lose your money. These things are key indices in the business. And once they are lost, it becomes time wasted. So is there anything that I have said now that is confusing? Please drop it in the comment section. Is there any particular thing you would like me to discuss? Drop that in the comment section and I will sure to do that. So if you have any questions or if you're having challenges in your farm, simply do a two to three minutes video. Send it to 081-053-489-09. If it is from outside the country, just add plus two, three, four, and I will pick it up from there. Remember, we are on Facebook, Let Us Farm. We are on Instagram, Let Us Farm. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Let Us Farm. And we are also on TikTok, Let Us Farm. On all these channels, follow or subscribe. Ask me any questions on any of my videos you come across. If you are having issues, you know what to do. My name remains Emily Fongunwell Oge of Let Us Farm. Don't forget, we are not forming any WhatsApp group. And don't give anybody your number on my behalf. There's nothing like that. So, till I come your way next time, keep farming. Farming is the way of life.